Rizewala has tweeted out in support of wrestlers, obviously taking a jibe at center. Now, Surjewala tweeted, and as I quote, for the daughters of the country, for our wrestlers who raise the honor of the tricolor, all the doors of opportunities and growth are open and will also remain so. Those people who call the honor of the country as a medal of 15-15 rupees or those who sneer about your job in the form of honor given by the country, they are full of arrogance of power. Meanwhile, the Langana Congress has also tweeted out the ongoing protest by wrestlers despite their meeting with Home Minister Amit Shah is a clear lack of faith in the poor leadership of this country. Justice delayed is justice denied. Modi and company should and must act immediately to ensure the dignity of our proud women wrestlers. I have CNN News 18's Anshul back with me on the uh, broadcast. Anshul, could you give us more details about this expected war of words being escalated? Uh, so yes, the war of words is continuing since day one. In fact, the first thing that the wrestlers came and sat on protest, they made sure that the uh, that the uh, protest is not used as a political to, uh, political tool, and political parties were not allowed to address uh, from the from the uh, protesting side. This time around, when the wrestlers came and sat, they enjoyed the support of many of the opposition leaders, including uh, and opposition parties, including parties like Aadmi Party and uh, Congress Party. Even some left parties and student organizations also uh, came and started protesting with them, extending their support uh, support to them, and that, that is what we are seeing at this point in time. That uh, and this, uh, that the protesting wrestlers are enjoying are still enjoying the support of of the opposition because opposition has got a very good opportunity to attack the government in this entire matter. However, if you see the BJP, uh, the BJP in fact the senior leaders of the BJP have remained absolutely elusive of any sort of politics in this entire matter. They continue to maintain that a free and fair investigation is happening over here, and hence people should wait for that investigation uh, to be completed. Now remember, uh, the wrestlers had initially demanded for an FIR to be registered against Prince uh, Sharan Singh when they came back and sat on uh, protest on the 23rd of April. Uh, the FIR was eventually registered on the behest of the Supreme Court. Now, according to law, the, uh, the police or the investigating agency has at least 90 days to file their charge sheet or to uh, complete their investigation. So those 90 days will come to come to an end in the next in the next few weeks, and we can expect that a final a final report or a charge sheet could be filed in this entire matter. Post which, uh, what whatever action is deemed uh, necessary legally, that action uh, could uh, could be taken. So uh, this war of words and politics politics around this is going to continue, and this is on the expected lines. So, uh, what we are hearing because this is a very, very big uh, issue and the opposition has got a very big opportunity to attack the government. However, senior ministers of the government have not invested in politics in this entire matter and they continue to maintain that they are going, that they will wait for the final investigation to come, the results of the final investigation to come out. And once those results uh, come out, uh, we can expect some uh, more action. Uh, to be taken against Prince Kumar Singh. On the other hand, Prince Kumar Singh himself has refrained from any sort of politics in this entire matter. And since day one, his stand has been very, very constant that if at all anything is found in the investigation, he is ready to hang himself and not only resign from his position. So, uh, yes, the political war of words is continuing and it's going to continue as the uh, unless this entire controversy is resolved by the government. Thanks.